Hello folks, it's Simon here from Simon's Reviews. Today I have my Blackview MP16 mini computer. I'm going to be adding some additional storage to this with a one terabyte SSD. And this upgrade should be a fairly simple process, but I am going to go through that with you today. Now on the back of the PC, there are two screws. Looks a little bit like a battery compartment, but in fact, it's an SSD compartment. We have our trusty crosshead screwdriver. Let's go ahead and install here by removing these two screws. Very, very easy. And taking off this back cover here, you can see that the SSD is going to slot in nicely. Just make sure you are lining this up correctly because we need to note that the power port or rather the power connector and the data connector on the SSD are different sizes. So it will only go in one way. And once that's slotted in nicely, we just need to replace that cover and screw it back down. Okay, so the SSD is all set up and good to go here. Let's go ahead, fire this up, get into Windows and see what we are dealing with. Right, so I've booted up the computer. If we head over to File Explorer and this PC, this is Windows 11. Yeah, the drive itself hasn't actually appeared at this point. It hasn't yet been detected by Windows. So what we need to do is search for, I think it's disk management. Right, this must be it here. Create and format disk partitions. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's found it. That's good. So let's go ahead and select okay. 953 gigabytes so it has been detected correctly as a one terabyte drive so yeah let's go ahead and initialize the drive we will go for the full amount on one partition and yep yeah, looks like we're good to go yep we have the new ssd that i've just installed the silicon power ssd showing with 953 gigabytes of free storage which is absolutely fine so let's go ahead now and do a speed test on the drive so i have this folder here which is on the main drive of the computer and it's just under five gigabytes i'm going to copy this over to the ssd we have just installed and see what sort of transfer speeds we are going to be able to attain with that so let's just go ahead now um, ignore this drive here this is an external drive that i had this folder on originally but right now we're going to copy it from the Windows C over to the SSD we have just installed that is currently empty and we'll see what sort of speeds we can transfer this at. And this folder has many different files in, different size files, large files, video files, images. And I've got to say, that's really impressive actually. Just under 400 megabits per second, it did that 5 gigabytes in just a few seconds, less than 10 seconds. So yeah, the performance of this new drive certainly seems to be acceptable. Okay, folks, so the SSD is installed. As I said, it's not a complicated process and that additional storage is going to go a long way. So this particular computer supports drives up to two terabytes officially. I'm not actually sure why that limitation is in place because Windows 11 itself will support drives that are far greater than two terabytes in capacity. But hey, that's according to the manufacturer here. So that's the information I am giving you. One terabyte will be sufficient for my needs. I hope the video helped. Thank you for watching. 